Hi, my name is Jim Moyle and we're going to talk a little bit uh, in a short video about uh, PESTA and AppVeyor. So here is a uh, set of three functions that uh, I use to locally store uh, credentials securely. So um, if I'm wanting to use GitHub for my projects, but I don't want to publish API keys or credentials to into my scripts, I use this to import and export secure credentials from the local registry. Now, <clears throat> I do have a set of pester tests set up for this um, set of functions so that if I make changes, then I know everything will still work. And I also have this integrated into GitHub, which we can see here. Now, what I've done is I've connected GitHub to a web service called AppVare, which works on the the same uh, licensing as uh, GitHub, so it's free for open source projects. And what it does is I've connected it using this AppVare YML file. And I, using this config file for AppVare, I've told it to run Pester and run the, run the tests, output the tests in a uh, nunit xml file which is what uh, Aveo understands and then uploaded to to, uh, to Aveo and then throw an error if we've if we've uh, failed some tests so if i do a change and i commit that change And now I'm going to uh, push that change up to uh, GitHub. And we can see that the build is now pending in the badge in uh, GitHub. And we can see that in Avea, it's actually spun up an Amazon instance really quickly is uh, using internally chocolatey to run my uh, tests. It's now come up with a build success and uh, as soon as uh, GitHub <coughs> refreshes that build pending should change to build success. Now that just took a couple of moments now we can see that the build has passed. So this is extremely useful if you are looking to, um, <clears throat> especially if you've got multiple people committing to GitHub, it will automatically uh, test and validate all the changes that have been pushed up to GitHub by anybody. And then it will email you uh, as to whether those tests have passed. And it will also put the, the badge inside the readme.md file in GitHub as to whether that uh, test has passed. So that's how to use Avea and pester together.